hey guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is ademola in this video i'm going to be showing you how to take your image from this to this so this is going to be like an amazing lesson i'm going to be teaching you how to retouch and also do dodge and burn let's just go and open the raw file so i'm just going to go to my download file and open the raw file for clarification, I don't own this image. This image was downloaded from signatureedits.com and let's get into it. For, for a start, if I'm starting retouching, the first thing I do is open it in camera raw. Of course, the picture was snapped on raw, so it's going to open in camera raw in your Photoshop. I'm using the Photoshop 2024. So I'm just going to start with, I reduce the contrast a little bit. Um, The shadows, I increased it. The highlights a little bit. Then the blacks, I took it up a little bit too. So I'm just going to open it. So what I'm going to do is to remove blemishes. That means I'm going to remove pimples from her face and take care of her hair. I'm just going to tell you guys one trick about removing hair like this from this side to this side. I'm just going to give you guys one trick. And from there, I'm going to fast forward the video. So what you're going to do is just select this place. Just be careful. Once you're se you've selected that, just come over to your clone tool and increase it accordingly then come over to this place just select and just brush over it so this is the before and after so while we're done with that so i'm going to tell you guys how to create your frequency separation layer this is very easy you just have to listen so i'm going to go ahead to create two layers which is command j and command j so i have my two layers right here so i'm going to name this the low f that's low frequency layer and i'm going to name this high frequency layer so if to so come over to this layer this high frequency layer turn it off then come to the low frequency layer then come over to filter blow and gaussian blow so you guys let me explain this part to you let me explain this gaussian blow to you so what i'm going to do i'm going to zoom out a little bit and I'm going to take this to zero to explain myself to you guys. So I'm just going to zoom in to... So you can choose anywhere in the image you want to use. But I'm just going to zoom in to our nose because I can see details right here. So anywhere in the image you can see any details, just pick it you get. So I'm just, come to, I'm just going to come to this place, pick up the details here, which I'm seeing. And I'm going to reduce this radius according to how the details is going out so i'm just going to take this a little bit and let's check out six now let me tell you the trick to this you blow this according to how the details are going so six you can still see the eyes you can still see the mouth you can still see the nose if you take it too high this too much don't do it like this you definitely do rubbish so take it to at least six and here's another trick to this so the higher the radius the more you have a lot of skin textures and the lower the radius the more your skin gets smooth so at times i use 14 14 is cool i use 14 that's when if i want more skin textures on her face but this time i don't want to use 14 i want to use 6 which is perfect for me because i really want it to be smooth so 6.0 that's cool i'm going to press ok then I'm going to come over to my high frequency layer. I'm going to click on it. Then come over to this place. Come over to image. Remember, on your high frequency layer, come over to image and come over to apply image. Once you are here, let me explain this place to you. So your layer should be on your low frequency layer, right? Then multiply should be on add. Scale should be on two. Offset should be zero then invert please you are going to do this for two two types of images so this style is for the 16 bit image if you have the 8 bit image this is how you are going to go about it so if you want to know your 8 bit you are going to look at this place this is a 16 bit image if you have an 8 bit image here is how you are going to go about it come over to your blending mode change it to subtract take your skill to 2 offset to 128 don't invert it this is for 8 bit image but i'm using the 16 bit image i'm just going to change it back so this is for 16 bit image don't forget to invert so i'm just going to click okay 
So while you're on this high frequency layer, take this your your blending mode to linear light. Now you are back to your normal picture. You are wondering what is happening. <laughs> just calm down. I'm going to explain. So now you are on your high frequency layer and your low frequency layer. Just shift and pick your low frequency layer and just group them. And I'm going to name it um fq frequency separation whatever so just naming it for it i'm going to go to our mixer brush so how do you get your mixer brush you can come over here and your mixer brush should be around here but mine is here so i'm just going to pick it right here this is my own setting for mixer brush i'm going to tell you guys my settings is up here so for my weight is nine percent load 75 percent mix 90 percent flow 100 why this is five and uncheck your sample layer because if you are going to be retouching on a empty layer you can sample it but now you are not retouching on the empty layer you are retouching on the low frequency layer so just on sample or layer i'm just trying to explain then come over to this place you guys should use the clean brush too so change it to clean brush which is important sometimes it's change to load them um, load solid colors it does not matter and make sure this is unchecked this is checked please don't mind my my own photoshop this thing is you know it's not meant to be like this it's just meant to be blank so while you're doing yours it's going to be blank another thing you should notice your brush should be soft make sure it's soft brush not hard so we are going to start mixing so i'm going to explain how mixing work i'm going to create a new video for mixing because it's another course on its own but i will just explain how mixing work asap in this video so i'm just going to come over here to create a new layer just to explain that so i'm going to use a brush tool for this so if you are mixing you should understand that you are going to be mixing in one direction mixing the highlights in one place mixing the shadows in one place so here's how it works i'm just going to draw something for you guys so i have the highlights right here i know that i'm going to be mixing in this direction i don't go in any other direction if i'm mixing the shadows here i'm going to be mixing in this direction because it's going like this if you guys can see it is going with the eyebrows here too i'm going to be going with this direction you guys can only go in two directions so it can be like this not like this it depends on your image and how your lighting goes so over here too i know that i'm going to be going either ways like this when i have the highlights like this i have the shadows here so we are going to be mixing it in different ways that's how fast i can explain it here but i'm going to create a new video for mixing so let's just start mixing i'm going to delete this you can either off this or on this while mixing but i love to off it so i don't really want to see the texture while i'm mixing i just want to see the highlight and the shadows that's the best way i do it if you are comfortable doing it that way good luck i'm just going to start mixing asap i'm doing exactly what i told you guys so if you are mixing once you mix one direction take your pen up and bring it to another side if you are using mouse to retouch i don't really know it has never worked out for me but if you're working out for you good just make sure you are carrying your brush up after mixing a side don't drag and mix this is what i mean by don't drag and mix so if you are just dragging like this you're going to do nonsense you have mixed the shadows to the highlights which is trash i'm sorry so i'm just going to undo that part so continue mixing which i'm going to continue here it's very easy you just have to understand the shadows and the highlight of the image so so because i don't want this video to be long that's why i'm rushing if it's long people might not really watch it but do me a favor by subscribing it will help this video reach out to more people that want to learn um retouching it's very easy so here's the before and after so let's go to dodge and burn quickly here's how to dodge and burn so you come over to your curve you have your curve right here then command j to duplicate so i'm going to name this dodge and i'm going to name this burn so we have dodge and burn we're going to start with dodge you come over here you have your curve just take this two in between these and increase it until you see the image is bright come over to this place and double click come over to this dark this dark place this underlying layer then drag drag till you can see the highlights yeah 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 and yeah so the highlights are coming together so now we want to 
transition the highlight to make it smoother if you guys can see the edges they are too sharp so now i want everything to be soft so come over here then click on option and click on it to divide it so i'm just going to drag this to this place a little bit and drag this back you can can see that is a little bit smoother i love this i'm going to click on ok we're not going to stop there we're coming to burn the same thing you did for dodge but now take it down so it's dark now you can see how dark it is i'm just going to click on the same thing while repeating the same step double clicking on burn then instead of coming to this place you are coming to the lighter part you are going to drag it so you see the dark side forming so so we have the the dark side here the shadows here you can see they are sharp so we want to like smoothen it option then divide is the same thing smoothing it smoothing the transition so you can take this back a little bit i'm going to click ok now this is way too much we're just going to reduce it to this place so i'm going to go for 23 then group it together perfect so here's the before and after so the next thing is to color grade i'm going to be using my lots if you need these lots the link is in my description below go ahead work with the lot and play with it before i do that i'm going to be smoothing the background as you guys can see we have some mistakes i made at the beginning so i'm going to shift option command e to create a new layer i'm going to create a new layer two times i have a video on how to change background come to select so i'm going to select the image once you are done selecting i'm just going to max come under the same layer not the same layer the layer under that then select the subject again but this time you are going to inverse the layer so select invert so selecting the background then command g so now you have your background empty so i'm just i can't do anything with the background right now so i'm going to come to blow Gaussian blur and just smoothen the background. I'm just going to click OK. Create a new layer. So Shift Option Command E. I'm going to come over to this layer. Then time to color grade and put my lots. So if you want to get these lots, don't forget it's in my description below. You can get it and have fun with it. So I'm just going to come to load and come over to dark skin. So now that this is too dark, we are just going to correct it ourselves, which is very easy. So I'm going to increase this. A little bit i'm going to rush this i'm sorry then reduce the contrast a little bit shadows up then whiten it small blacks go down a little bit yeah then come over to this effect i don't want it because i kept it the other time so this is it this eye is looking right now so i'm just going to take my midpoint down then i'm going to go to my colors so this way i'm going to play with it so i'm going to increase the melanin pop 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 <laughs> The melanin skin tone a little bit high then i want the background to come down i don't like that blue ish bar so i'm just going to reduce the blue a little bit then probably bring the yellow down no i like it up i'm just going to reduce this a little bit i don't want it to be too yellow i'm going to take this down so uh, working with the greens on my eyes so here is it so come over here too i'm, I'm going to reduce this too so guys i'm good with this this is before and after so i'm going to click ok so here's the before and after before and after this is after uploading my beautiful lot so this is the before and after perfect right so we're just going to reduce it a little bit just more yeah so here's it so guys this is the end of the tutorial and if you want more on color grading i did more of depth color grading to this but in this video i just want to teach you guys how to retouch the skin and dodge and bone and how to use my notes that's what i did in this video so if you want to get to this essence and lips getting to this so yes whitening the eyes and i did a lot i can continue this for the next tutorial because this video is getting too long yeah is the before and after see you guys in my next video my next tutorial thank you for watching to the end god bless you subscribe like share to others see you later bye